The Amakosa royal family led a traditional procession taking the body of the late king from the morgue in Dujwa to Ngadu Great Place in the early hours of the morning. The body was then handed to the military to conduct the official funeral ceremony. It wasn't easy, but we are both in a learning camp. They are not uh, aware of uh, royal protocols, much as we were not aware of uh, the military protocols, but we managed to match the two. We are satisfied with what they have given to us, and I think they are both happy with uh, how we know we have managed to share. It has been wonderful to have a, a, a retired general, Brigadier uh, General Mkwegi. He is now the man, main man that was orchestrating this, the, the Major General, making sure that our, uh, our, our, we synchronize with the, with the family, we talk one language with the family, because he understands royalty, he also understands military. So in that context, we could negotiate and talk, because this is the first for all of us, to now start to honor our kings like in other countries. This is now another milestone in our democracy. This is not just another normal military uh, funeral that has been honored to other people that have done something. This is a milestone in our democracy. The funeral is attended by esteemed dignitaries such as President Cyril Ramaphosa, former President Thabo Mbeki, and representatives of royal families in Africa. Mbeki, who hails from Dujwa, delivered a speech as an elder of the community, while Ramaphosa delivered a eulogy. King Sigawa's final resting place is in the precinct of Ngadu Great Place, next to his forefathers. Ah, Tule Joga, SABC News, Ngadu Great Place, Willowvale.